What's up guys, V here, and as you can see we are doing another Unreal Engine tutorial. As you also can see it's not on my new channel because I am no longer making a new channel. I'm going to still put it on V Reviews and just put it on a separate playlist and just it makes it much simpler for me. And for you guys who already are subscribed. Now um, as you can see we have a really these nice looking pillars that I made in Maya. Uh, the texture is not mine, it's just a uh, stock texture from uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, they have a uh, you know collision blocks, but that's not exactly why we're here. You possibly have an issue where let me just bring this up. Whoop! I'm gonna import these uh, things right now. Let me just get them. Uh, two and twenty-three, I believe. I'm gonna import these swords. Uh, one is using FBX 2013, the other is using FBX 2014. And if you recently got Maya, you obviously got 2014, the 2014 version. Now let's say you imported, you, you created your object in Maya, you import it into Unreal Engine and this message box pops up and it says you have an out of date FBX. It's not because it's lower, it's because it's actually higher. Uh, as you can see they have 2013, you have 2014 as did I and I was really pissed at that my uh my objects would come in looking like this let me just bring it in this right here you see that oh shitsa this right here all fugliness <laughs> and i was so pissed off i was like uh this is actually i didn't make this it, i actually just uh it's free so i just used it but um i was so pissed off because i'm like it's a nice looking sword when you get the material and you like plug in uh, a metal steel it looks nice, or oh, actually metal brush steel. It looks nice. It really, really reflects with it and all that. And I was just so irritated that for some reason, it would come having this retarded look to it. So I uh, went, you know, I went to Maya and I really poked around in Maya, seeing what the hell was the issue. And I finally found out what it was. And I'm going to show you that. This is just a quick fix to show you guys exactly what. I'm talking about. So you're in Maya, you created your object, and let's say you go to File, you just select a File, Export Selection, and it all checks out good, 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 and you just go to 20, you just name it whatever you want, and you export. The thing is, with what I have, it's still going to do that same issue where it just has that stupid look. It has like, it's just messed up the lighting, and just for some reason, it's just messed up. Now, here's what you do. Uh, you do the same thing but slightly different. You select select your object, you go to File, Export Selection, you go all the way to the bottom, and you actually click FBX File Format. Instead of 2014, let me just stretch this out, instead of 2014, you obviously want to do 2013, and then export it with whatever name, and import it, and you'll get the nice looking one, which let me show you real quick. Props is this right here. This is the nice looking one. Just, I'm just gonna shrink it down to actually. I guess I'll put it on a pillar or something. I don't know why, but I am because it looks interesting to do it like that. It brings a sense of awesomeness. Ah, shit, I don't got a snapping, so I don't wanna fuck that up. So now you have this there. It's kind of inside the pillar, so let me take it out a bit. I need some coffee, I'm tired as fuck. And now you can get your brush steel, put it on there, and now it looks fucking awesome. And um, for the heck of it, let's actually just do the lighting, and let's show you how it looks like. Oh shit, I forgot I have overlapping UVs, so this happened. <laughs> Everything looked nice besides the UVs, so now you got this weird look, so I'm going to press Control z or actually no. Uh, yeah, I'll press Control z I can't undo it! No! Regardless. Oh shit. Uh, let me just go to... Epic. Play. There we go. So those the, the UVs are making it look like shit, but as you can see we got our sword there. We don't have collision with it, but I could easily fix that. But I'm not going to. But uh, yeah, that is how you fix that stupid issue that you maybe you do have, maybe you don't. Uh, I did for sure. And now that it's fixed, I'm able to continue on with making whatever the hell I am making. So.
thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys like this short video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.